after <laughs> but first Robert McIntosh scooped 4.4 million pounds on the lottery uh, his wife Susan probably expected a lavish present when she celebrated her 47th birthday just a week later however all she got was a card as her husband apparently forgot his excuse was that due to the jackpot success it completely slipped his mind <laughs> well it would um, but would, would we be happier if we just just gave up and just expected men to forget you all see, important if you things. expect things from men you never get them do you no. so don't have any expectations and then you never let down are you <laughs> I mean I used to say to my uh, husband I used to say don't forget my birthday I said it on one of my big birthdays the 50s but I said, forget the birthday don't worry about it be all right don't worry and he went oh okay and he did <laughs> we, oh, we had the biggest shower and it was that day I decided to leave him because how dare he forget my birthday and he said but you said it I said you mustn't believe anything a woman tells you. <laughs> hey, they never learn, do they, men? That's just stupid. Because, I mean, it matters more than if you'd said yes, doesn't it? If you say yeah, no. But he should have you known know I mean? that. Absolutely, he should have known that. It really matters if they remember. I'd be horrified if my Peter forgot. Thankfully, I have a saint of a husband who never forgets birthdays or anniversaries because oh, he thinks they're absolutely vitally important. So yeah, I'm not. Right to death. <laughs> <laughs> Who he's married to, he forgets all sorts of other slightly important we things. Have, we have one of these family calendars in the kitchen, you know, that it's got all our. I think most families have them, you know, it's got all what we're all doing through the week because you're fiddling, you're swimming, lessons, whatever. So on, on, oh yeah, well, you, you kind of need to be with all the extra lessons and things. But we have like birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that, that arrow. So you have no excuse no. to forget mm. anybody's no. birthday. I still kind of half manage it, but it's, it, and it's me that writes them on, but I still get busy and forget it. But uh, everyone else in the house has no excuse. Mm. Arrows. Ray's, Ray's really, Ray always remembers my birthday and Christmas, obviously. Um, but. Only <laughs> <laughs> because I'm at home at Christmas, that's only if he remembers it. Yeah, but. It's the tree, uh, it's it's the the tree, tree that gives yeah. away. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He does ask me why I put a tree up. <laughs> um, so he does remember, but he hates it. He absolutely hates the pressure of having to yeah, remember. Yeah. He hates the pressure of if he of doesn't remember, all my sisters will come down on him like a ton of bricks yeah. and like, you know, I'll Ooh, be really You don't really want to make all the Nolans cross. You don't want to make the Nolans <laughs> cross. Not at the same time. No. Not at the same time. No. Um, so it's kind of, so he does it begrudgingly. Which oh, I'm not sure is, 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 is very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so he's good at remembering that. But I mean, if I ask him to go out for a loaf of bread, yeah, get it, he'll come back with a tin of beans. He has no. <laughs> exactly. His memory is the worst that's ever. No Worryingly bad memory. Don't expect anything and you get nothing. Uh, and then you're never disappointed. <laughs> nope. Right. Fancy, eh? Fancy.